shit is popping off in here. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's Sabre Sif, and I'm back on the job with set number 9525 Pre Fistless Mandalorian Fighter. And um, I had to go around the system to get this because uh, Lego Store being jerks, they're advertising it on the website. But when you go in the store and you ask for it, they're like, oh, uh, we don't have it on the system. We, we can't see it on the system. Um, we, 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 we don't know. And, you know, you're just there looking all pissed off and you just want to smack them in the mouth. Smash their head into the till. Because you really want the set, but you can't get it. So, just do like I did, guys. Chill out. Count for ten seconds. Breathe. <sighs> Woosa. And go on to Bricklink and order it from there. So, uh, I think if you live in Germany and... Definitely in the US now, you can get your hands on it, um, probably from Walmart, um, or maybe even Toys R Us, I don't know. I think for the UK um, peeps, we'll probably be able to get it in Toys R Us, or Argos, in maybe a few weeks time, or a month or so, but if you're like me, you can't wait, just go to Bricklink. So, a uh, big shout out and thank you to all my subscribers, thanks for subscribing guys. Um, you know, if you've recently joined a team, welcome to the team. Um, and I'd just like to give a shout out to Lego Figure 36, Lego Guy 7461, Lego Obi Wan Kenobi, Padawanks, and everybody that's on my channel page. Um, big shout out to you, keep doing your thing. I'll keep doing my thing, and uh, we'll just keep doing it big. So, before I get to it, I'm going to show you guys, I leave the best till last. And I'm going to compare the new Lego Star Wars Pre Fistler with the Clone Army Customs Pre Fistler that was up until now, if you ask me, the best Pre Fistler uh, going. So we'll get to that in a second. Let me just quickly show you the manuals, get the boring stuff done first. Um, comes with two manuals a small one and a slightly bigger one. Um, not really much to speak of other than it comes with four bags four bags full and uh, that's pretty much it it's quite an easy build um, what everyone's saying about it resembling the T6 Jedi shuttle um, I guess it's true it does kind of resemble that set um, I do have that set but not here um, a little cartoon at the back, Fistler and Obi Wan standoff, and then you got the crazy kid at the back wiling out because his little sister stepped on his Ninja Go collection. Right, so this guy, very very boring. I'm sure you've all got him um, umpteen times. Would have been nice if. Um, they gave us a new Obi-Wan Kenobi or something with some back printing maybe a change to the face details or something but um, he's cool he's alright you know just another one to add to the collection uh, personally I would have been a bit more uh, satisfied with this set if they would have gave us the new um, or I wouldn't say she's new but the chick from the Mandalorian episode, she's in season 4, she's got a kind of owl looking helmet, would have been nice if they popped her in the set, but uh, you know, that's Lego for you. The people down there designing the sets need to come to the ground level and like, to see what's going on with the real fans, you know, go around, talk to the real Clone Wars fans, and find out what the real Star Wars fans really want in these Lego sets, instead of what these chumps just decide to pit in these sets um, but they've done a pretty good job with this set it's definitely movie accurate to the Clone Wars I'll give you a quick look around um, the cockpit does spin once it's in flight mode is that... oh I've done something there oh. this, this up. can you just get... alright that's cool no, it's doing it again. Right, 
Alright, there we go. Cool. Um, cockpit's pretty nice. It fits two minifigures very comfortably. Um, I don't know, you might be able to modify it to get three people in there, but it'll be a real tight squeeze. Um, new control panel. Sticker, of course. Um, bring back the good old days of the printed pieces. Please. But it's a nice control panel. It's like, a, you know, it's original to the set. These are stickers, by the way, unfortunately. Stickers, stickers. Um, landing gears. Oh, get out of the freaking way. Pop the landing gear down one more time. And the landing gear is nice too. It's got some nice smooth tiles on it, which is pretty cool. So, let's take a look from the back of the set. You've got these... And it's kind of big too, guys. It takes up a whole base plate almost. Um, you've got these rear turrets. Spin round, rotate, poseable. Uh, we've got some dark saber storage. Get it right. Dark saber, not light saber. It's a dark saber. You douche. Now, that's kind of a problem with the set, but... You kind of need to hold it from the back because if you hold it from the front or the weights in the back it will just spin around like it just did there. Something fell on the floor and what fell on the floor is this. This interesting little box piece with the printed 2x2 um, two two square piece from, uh, I do believe that was, we first saw that in the Bounty Hunter gunship. So, it's a nice little piece to have that kind of, kind of, yeah, just goes in the back there as well. So you can like store some guns and some other little knickknacks and stuff in there, which is pretty nice. And the other feature at the back of the set is that this pops down like so, and then the box will release. So um, you could custom and I don't know, put some bombs in there or something flying around with it. It's kind of difficult to swoosh around um, playability wise it's not the easiest set to play with um, but yeah it's nice it's very nice and the wings are sturdy very very sturdy so sturdy that you kind of feel like you might break something when you're clicking it back into place but I like that I like sturdy strong sets so, um, yeah, take a look from the top. Uh, I don't have the, the T6 Jedi shuttle to compare it with um, here. It's at my parents' house, but I do have something very similar. Well, color scheme wise, similar anyway. And that's my custom blue leader X Wing. Um, I didn't mean it. To have Mandalorian colours, I just use what was in my miscellaneous box on the day. Um, but yeah, definitely the colour scheme is pretty much the same. Both, both really cool sets, if you ask me. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think maybe I should just apply for one of the designing jobs down at Lego. I keep coming out with these awesome customs. I've got my ear to the streets. I'm sure I'll pick some of those pricks out of business. But they've done an alright job with this set, so you know, it's not even like I can really hate. Um and then this also this spins around like that, so you can have a kind of attack mode and have the ship like that. So cool. It's a nice little set. It's a very nice little set. Um I'm happy that I got it. In fact, you know what? This one handed business. Mm -mm. Frig. Okay. Right. I'll pop that back. Yeah.
like so. Now, to the best part of this review, the minifigures. Actually, someone might want to see the box, so friggin' here's the box. Box is kind of big, um, about the same size as a T6 Jedi shuttle. New pre fistler there. And then at the back, you've got all the bits and bobs that it does. I think I've explained that. Um, the little storage thing goes in from the top, come up from the bottom. Rotating wings. Landing gear. Fits two people. Dark saber storage. Yeah, okay, we've gone through the whole shebang. Right, now. Mini figure comparison time. Well, in some ways, Lego versions, Lego's version of Pre Fistler is better than the Clone Army Customs version, and in other ways, the Clone Army Customs version is better than Lego's version. So, um, I mean, it's really up to you. You make your mind up like you always do. Um, in front row, we've just got some of my Shadow Mandos or Shadow Generals just hanging out keeping the troops in line and this is the Clone Army Customs version but I'll show you I'll show you the bad boy Lego version first um, a bit difficult with the light so right that's what he looks like with his helmet on very very nice clean printing details the Mandalorian Death Watch symbol on the helmet it's got some leg printing it's pretty nice um, I'm not too sure about the whole gunmetal grey jetpack and helmet um, in terms of I like it but in terms of accuracy I think black would have been a better colour to go with that the Clone Army Customs version has got not only that I think um, Konami Customs helmet is more accurate in terms of colour scheme. Um, it's not as good, obviously, because it's not printed. It's kind of that water slide detail thing, whatever it is. I don't know. It's not all that, but it's cool. And the blue on the back of the helmet is also more movie accurate than Lego's version. And the cape is way better, if you ask me, colour scheme wise and just in general size. No back printing on either of the minifigures. Um, but nice printing on the front of the torso and the legs on the Clone Army Customs version. Um, and leg printing here on Lego's Pre Fistler version. Uh, I've got the new Boba Fett from the Desert Skiff set that's also got leg printing, it's kind of similar. I'll just show you guys, you know, get onto this. You motherfuckers just lie down. Uh, sounds kind of gay. <laughs> no homo. Um, I think Boba Fett's printing is a little bit better. The leg printing, because it's got like the whole, like the little boot type thing. Fistler doesn't have that, but um, yeah, both pretty nice. I think this pre Fistler uh, minifigure is probably one of the best Legos ever done, um, in my opinion. Uh, now, lightsabers, or dark sabers should I say, um, Lego gave us a black blade with a silver hilt, not movie accurate, didn't like it, it's crap. Um, what they should have done is gave us the black hilt and the black blade, that would have looked cool. Um, but if you want to be real, real accurate to the Clone Wars, um, Pre Fistler's Dark Saber is kind of a samurai sword looking thing, and the blade comes to a point um, like the Ninja Go Samurai Sword. So that's just why I've given him a Ninja Go Samurai Sword. Plus, it just looks more like Fistler's Dark Saber. So that's why I've equipped him with that, and not Lego's standard issue. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys, um, thanks for watching, please uh, thumbs up and subscribe, and remember I'll sub you back, 